you're watching Pavlina's Kids Place. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place, and we are here with an amazing writer of SNL, uh, producer, actress, and the mistress of the ceremonies for the 2014 Women of Distinctions for the Girl Scouts, Paula Pell. How are you doing? Hey, how you doing, Pavlina? Yeah. Your hair I'm is good. so beautiful. I'm going to cut it off and steal it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. It looks good on you. I like it. Thanks. It looks good. Yeah. We'll have to, you know, work something out. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you have been a writer on SNL since 1995, right? Have there been like amazing moments and like was uh, was there ever like a moment where you were like, "Wow, this is really groundbreaking for women?" Uh, I mean, I think, you know, from the very beginning there that place is not very, uh, you know, I think it has a reputation sometimes in the past of having like a boys club or whatever, but really what it is is just whatever is the funniest kind of rises to the top. So it was always fun to see these amazing, strong, funny women come in brand new yeah. and they had never done anything like that and then they just get in front of that audience and just score and yeah. then they're just on their way, you know. So it's very exciting to watch a lot of my friends throughout the years become very successful because they just believed that anything can happen and it doesn't matter if they're a boy or a girl in comedy they're gonna they're gonna do it so that's awesome yeah. and I was actually thinking like on our way here I should change my last name to like Peterson or something so it can be like the Paula Pell and Pavlina Paula Peterson, and Peterson show, show. Yeah. quadruple P yeah, yeah exactly now uh, p uh, P P to P to P, what's your last name? Asta. Asta, P-O. Yeah. Like P, P to P-O, P, P, P-O. Um, I heard a little rumor, a little birdie told me in my ear that it is your birthday. So before we go on, I'm going to sing happy birthday to you. Okay. In the way that I learned from performing at Disney years ago is this is how we would start our birthday song. It's somebody's birthday today, it's somebody's birthday today. The candles are lighted on somebody's cake, and we're all excited for somebody's sake. Sing along, Patty, my sister's here too. <laughs> an old-fashioned table was set for an evening you'll never forget. Happy birthday to you, and many more too, for it's Pavlina Osta's birthday today. Yay, that was so cool. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. Thank you. That was the coolest We're both 17 in the same month. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that's awesome. Happy birthday. I hope you Thank have a you. great one. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty good so far. It's good. good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So everyone always has like crazy experiences at like Walmart. So have you ever had like a crazy experience or like you know seen crazy people? I, I, I did have a crazy experience. I had two. One of them is a quickie. I went to my Walmart where I live in New York, um, upstate New York, and the first three people that I came across that night had eyes that went two different directions. I don't know why, from three different groups of people. I don't yeah. know, it was just, it was really, it was really stuck with me, yeah. and that stuck with them. Yeah. But my sister and I went to Walmart one night, late night, when I came to visit mm -hmm. Florida, and uh, you can stop me, Patty, if you don't want me to tell the story, but my sister and I started laughing at a greeting card. We got laughing, and she wet her pants. <laughs> Um, nice. You know, she could okay. use I would the excuse too. that she's had babies and all that, but she just laughed and wet her pants. She, it just happened. Um, and so we bought more clothes for her to wear, and then I threw her clothes that she took off and changed in the car in the parking lot across the parking lot <laughs> and threw them out the window. And then we got laughing again, and she wet her pants again. And so we had to go back in and buy more clothes and then we got home to my mom's and started telling my mom the story about oh, yeah. being in Walmart, her wetting her pants, and we got laughing again. Oh, and goodness. third time, she went to go borrow something from my mom. So my she mom went through. I smelled like a nursing home. Yeah, she oh. said she smelled like a nursing home. Three pairs of pants yeah. that my sister went through. Wow. Okay. She's a real class act. <laughs> yeah. But that's what happened in Walmart to me. I've seen like some people where it's just like they rolled out of bed and didn't look at the mirror. Oh, yeah. And then they walked five miles together. It's just like. Yeah. I never, I never, I mean, I will say that there are sometimes I go kind of, you know, a little bit slummed out when I go to Target oh, or something, yeah. <laughs> but I always make sure, I always make sure my hair is at least brushed yes. 
and I have you know a little bit of perfume on, yeah. even if I'm whiffy, just a little <laughs> bit of something to cover it up. Yeah, definitely. Same, you know, like yeah. sweatpants, eh, yeah. whatever. All classy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I interviewed uh, Tanya Tucker one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, I know she's awesome. And like she was, I was talking to her about it, and she was like, "Yeah, one time, like I, she was on her tour bus, and she like got off, and somehow her dog got off, okay. and the dog went loose in Walmart. So she was like running down the oh, aisles. My yeah. God. Oh I know. my God. My cat That's did that one time it. after an SNL night of writing. Mm -hmm. I was up all night, and then I had to take her to get a test done, and I stopped to get a bagel afterwards, and she was in the carrier. And she was a long-haired cat, and it was this little French cafe in New York. And I was getting a bagel, and all of a sudden I heard zip, zip, zip. And I looked down, and the cat crawled out of the carrier and walked past all the desserts. Oh my and gosh. I was so delirious from having no sleep yeah. on our writing night, because we stay up all night, that all I could do is just stand there. And I was like, my cat. <laughs> I couldn't even move to like yeah. go get her or anything. I was just like, my cat ran. <laughs> and the person's looking at me like, they thought I was having a stroke or something. It was very disturbing. Like you were saying, you have long nights on SNL. Was there ever a time where you were like worried about something you were writing with SNL or anything? Oh yeah, every writing night. I mean, I only do about six shows a year now because I've been there 20 years. So now I'm kind of like in semi-retirement um, because I'm too darn old to stay up all night. But um, thanks to coffee, I can still do it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a very nerve wracking thing because by the next morning, you have to hand in your scripts and that host, sometimes very famous people that might be very intimidating, are gonna be reading what you wrote. So you're sitting there typing going, oh my God, you know, Robert De Niro is gonna be reading this, it better be good. Yeah. Or, and then if, you know, sometimes you'll have a great idea that you love and you're mm -hmm. so excited to write it and then you sit down to write it kind of late at night and you realize that it's not as funny as you thought. Yeah. <laughs> or be my you remember problem. that like someone else did something similar on a different yeah. show mm -hmm. or somebody comes up to you and goes, you know, they did that back in the day at SNL and it's just like, Oh my God, and then you scramble trying to find something. But the cool thing about SNL is that I used to always be the last one there on writing nights. I would stay till like nine or 10 in the morning and I had been up for 30 hours and I would just at that very end when I'd get ready to leave, I'd think, I should write that other little thing. I'd always want to write that other little thing. And sometimes that was the thing that got on the show. Yeah. yeah. Because I wasn't worried about it. It was just kind of a throwaway. Like, oh, I'm just going to write this quick par uh, commercial parody or yeah. this little song or whatever. It's when your brain is very opened up and, you know, that late night when you have a slumber party or something yeah. and you just like are talking about bizarre things or you write crazy things in the middle of the night in a journal and you're like, I don't even remember writing that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of kind of a, a tradition of the place, mm -hmm. and I think it's why there's so many crazy things on that show because yeah. we stay up so late. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And I eat see that. bad food in the middle of the night. Have you ever had insomnia cookies? Insomnia cookies? Insomnia cookies. No. Best things ever. They're like addicting too. Like they're for like I think I don't even know what time like. I, they go, they're open until 2 a.m. I know that, because <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a place you go. Yeah, it's called like, and They deliver and they go on roller skates. Oh my God! Are they the ones that deliver warm? Is it? Yes. Are they? Oh warm? my God! They're so good. Yes. It's somebody, like they're warm and squishy. Ordered them at, somebody <laughs> yeah. ordered them at us one yeah. day, and uh, they're warm cookies at yes. like 2 o'clock in the morning. That's yeah. crazy that they're mm -hmm. called insomnia cookies. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. I woke up one time. Uh, with a box of Dunkin Donuts under my body in the bed <laughs> and I had eaten one clearly and then the rest of them were so I got an idea to, yeah. to eat donuts really in the middle of the night and I went to bed with them so mm. yeah that, I could see that you know yeah. that would happen to me proud, so, proud <laughs> moment yeah definitely you gotta be proud of that role model yeah definitely that's awesome so get some insomnia cookies it's it's good stuff yeah um i was at nyu and we would always you know have to get them and stuff oh, so. yummy. anything yeah. late night when i was yeah. little i used to watch i had a little round white plastic tv that was <laughs> the big thing in like the 70s and i would watch that tv all night in the summer yeah. like until it was bright light out and my mom would come in and go are you still awake and she would get so mad at me but now she gets it that i was yeah. a little obsessed with television so. that's how everyone was netflix now so it's okay yes. it's all good <laughs> i know everyone that's like we'll watch it until like i'm not because it's addicting it's like it's oh next so, episode like so next episode i know so it's the new model of television is so it's going to just be how all television is very yeah. shortly and mm -hmm. 
It's just that you watch a whole season at once, and it seems weird because you think, but that's the whole point of television is every yeah. week, but then you rewatch them, and, mm -hmm. and then it makes you watch other shows, and it's really a great thing for people now that they live off their devices. Yeah. 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 Definitely. I don't, I don't like waiting for like next week. I just want to watch the next yeah. episode right now. Like I hate the cliffhangers. I'm, I'm like, so impatient. That. That's why yeah. I've always watched my soaps on CBS <laughs> because I love, I just love every day they're on so yeah. I can tape them and if I just want to like binge watch about five of them, yeah. I can sit there and watch them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So there you go. Um, and or then, the Weather Channel. <laughs> yes. That's always if fun too. Dating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you had like a t-shirt that just, you know, said anything, like your life motto or whatever, what would it say and why? Uh, I think it would just be a picture of my dog's faces nice. because my dogs both have amazing faces. My, <laughs> my pit bull has a, an injured face that's very twisted and it looks like, um, it looks like uh, when you do the app on iPhone photo, I, I photo and make this, the, oh, it like swirl, twirl yeah. it looks like the twirl, but it's her real face. Her nose is over here and her tooth is sticking out this way oh, and she's yeah. the happiest, sweetest girl. But she had something bad happen to her when she was younger and she is so hilarious because she'll yeah. just stand there and stare at you and it's like no matter what mood I'm in, if I'm depressed or anything, I just have to look at her in the morning waiting for me to feed her her yogurt. And yeah, she's got right. one tooth going this way and one nose going this way. And everything's, yeah. everything's in a different county. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably have my dog's pictures on it. Yeah, definitely. Like what that. other kind of dogs do you have? You have a pit bull? I have a beagle basset hound oh, who is also cool. on my uh, web series, Hudson Valley Ballers. She, uh, he um, actually stars in one of the episodes as the truth basset <laughs> and my friend and I have to pass him back and forth and you I have to tell that. the truth yes. yeah that's my yeah. dog yeah oh my gosh yeah that's such a cute dog yeah. I had a third grade teacher that was obsessed with basset hounds really and, yeah oh. they were all over her room like oh my God. legit like posters everywhere it was Did she have weird ears too the teacher I don't no, I don't think so. But yeah, it was you know good stuff so everyone on S that's a picture of Lucy let's show it on the oh yeah oh that's is that a, a sad looking one or no? Oh. She's, she's sleeping. Yeah. That's her. <laughs> she's real cute. Aww. She was on Jimmy Fallon one night. Yeah, she was on oh Jimmy my Fallon. God. She has very, she has 150,000 nipples and they're about that long. So they, they kind of swing <laughs> like a car wash. Yeah. Are know. they like um, rescues or anything? Yeah, they're both oh rescues. My gosh. Yeah. That's awesome. I love rescue animals. Yeah. They're the best. I know. Adopt, a, adopt an animal. Yes. Exactly. Go tell your parents now. Yes. You're not doing your homework unless you get a dog from <laughs> yeah. the shelter tonight. Right now. Tonight. Tonight. Okay. So everyone on SNL, you know, they seem like a big family. Is that true? Or is there anyone that you want to strangle? Uh, no. I mean, they're a family. So obviously we always want to strangle people in our family sometimes. Because um, as they say, familiarity breeds contempt sometimes. <laughs> and you're all kind of stuffed in these little rooms together. So yeah. every so often you'll have something that's sort of funny, irritating with each other where you're like, I'm going to kill you if you <laughs> keep crunching those potato chips yeah. while we're trying to write this, you know. Um, I used to have a running joke with a lot of the girls that I could not stand the way they draw. I don't drink hot drinks. I don't like hot drinks, so I drink I iced coffee. Yeah. So I hate when people really savor their hot drinks, and especially late at night when I'm kind of, you know, it, that jumpy, irritable, like too much caffeine. Yeah. My sister's <laughs> slurping her drink. But where they'll, they'll just hold like a hot cup of tea or something and just be, I know, you yeah. know, I'll be explaining a sketch and they'll be like, Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just really delicate and like touching it and savoring it. It yeah. makes me want to punch him in the eyebrow. So I, um, I have always had a running joke about that. But it is a family. I've watched all my friends and, and all my coworkers' children from birth to now they have oh, yeah. beards. And oh. it's like, I'll just have somebody come up and I'm like, oh my God, your kid has a beard now and, and they're a girl. Just kidding. Yeah. Um, but it's. It's an amazing, amazing group of people that is very tight knit. Yeah. yeah. And most TV is, is done in LA. So, you know, it being in New York all these years, it's just its own little thing. It's, yeah. it's not part of that whole big, big world of te television. So. Very nice. That's so cool, though. Like, that's cool to have such a close family, like when you're working. So yes. it doesn't feel like a job kind of thing. And I always missed my family in Florida when I moved to New York to do it. So it was always so great to have them. And then the other great thing is they're all so nice there and always are nice because Lauren Michaels, who runs the show and created it, you know, he 
always hires people who are kind people, and yeah. he, he certainly wants people to be talented, but he doesn't think you have to be a jerk to be yeah. talented. So he always chooses people that seem to be great people, humans. And so when my family would come visit, they would always say, you know, by the end of the week, they'd be like, is there anyone here that's a jerk? And I'd yeah. be like, not really, no, yeah. you know, <laughs> except me, but yeah. you guys are used to me, so no, just kidding. Yeah. That's great. So I'm actually media for uh, the new Diagon Alley uh, for Harry Potter World and also the Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty snazzy. That's I'm going to awesome. probably pee my pants when I see Halloween Horror Nights because awesome. so, I get pretty scared easily. But yes, um, me too. Yes, yeah. So uh, like there, there's going to be like the people that do all the scary makeup, and I was just wondering if you'd like to come. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I would if I had time. Oh, I, yeah. I'm not going to be in town for just a little blip here this weekend, oh, but are okay. you doing it this weekend? Yeah, it's this weekend. Oh, yeah. shoot. I would love to come to that. Are Maybe they cool? could do a little work on me. Yeah. <laughs> Fill in some things, yeah. cover up some age spots, yeah. and then have like one of my eyes dangling oh, just like that, like yeah. a pendulum. <laughs> I know, I'm such a chicken about scary movies. Yes. I, I like mysteries and I like like murder mysteries and stuff, yeah. but I do not like the slasher movies or any of that stuff. It scares me really badly. I haven't seen, like I don't even Will you have watch to go them. through the haunted houses or are you just talking I to people? I don't pe know, I, yeah, I think we're just gonna be talking to people and they're gonna be like taking us VIP around and everything. Oh, that yeah. yeah, so hopefully no one's gonna be like running I'll after me with a chainsaw. All the lights. <laughs> yes, I want all the lights on now. <laughs> like, there used to be a hor uh a uh, haunted house in downtown Orlando, and it, it isn't there anymore, but mm -hmm. it was like there 20, uh, all year, wasn't it, Patty? Yeah, it was like a I can't remember what it was called, but it yeah. was an old building that was an old department store, like an old Woolworths or something, mm -hmm. and they made it into a horror, uh, a haunted house. Sure. Yeah, church, oh, yeah. So it was so scary. I went one time, my friends talked me into it, and the whole time I was just, like digging my nails yeah. into their bodies and screaming at the top of my lungs because they would take you in rooms that were just like a big steel table and all these like bodies hanging oh, no. and people coming up to you and actually touching it and oh you, uh -uh. it scared me so bad no nope. yeah that's that's wrong that's just, just wrong about it now <laughs> yes it's not good Shivers. <laughs> definitely well thank you so much for talking thank to me thank you so much and i am just congratulating you oh and it's since we're doing a bunch of uh girl scout stuff this weekend congratulations on on being such a strong and confident young gal and i wish you all the luck in the world yeah. and happy birthday <laughs>